might be able to capture dark matter? Um, okay, I love these multi-part questions. Um, I am not trying to make a case that the Tunguska blast was an antimatter explosion. I simply wished to point to it as an example of the type of event we're looking at. Uh, in terms of neutrino detection, that is constrained by uh, particle interaction cross-sections, which at the moment we have no idea how to manipulate, and there may in fact be no way even in principle to manipulate them. I, 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 know. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I managed to lose the third part of the question. Dark matter. Oh, uh, dark matter. Um, we don't know what dark matter is, but whatever it is, it presumably shares the properties of neutrinos in having very low interaction cross-sections, uh, therefore being able to uh, tap it for energy looks like an exceedingly remote prospect at this time. I always bend the rules a little bit when uh, younger people want to participate, so we have one more question. I was wondering how you would capture those particles to reuse them to get energy to use the other particles for more energy. Does that make sense? Uh, okay. How how do we how how do we actually do the capture and reprocessing that I refer to so glibly? Um, the, the answer is that th this is where I wave my hands uh, with the phrase of sufficiently advanced technology. We know that it's physically possible in principle. We don't know how to actually build the machine or we'd be flying these things right now. Thank you very much.